Find the general solution for the given differential equation z double prime plus z prime minus z equals zero. So we have to form our auxiliary equation in which we choose variable r to represent the powers of derivatives being taken for z. So two derivatives means r squared plus z prime, which is just r, minus one, since that's r to the zero times negative one, equals zero. So unfortunately, this solution can't be cut and dry since nothing multiplies to negative one that adds to positive one. So we have to bring out our good old quadratic formula, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, over 2a to solve for this issue. So we know that a is the coefficient of r squared, 1, b, coefficient of r, which is 1, and c is the constant, which is negative 1. Plugging that in, we have negative 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, c, which is negative 1, all over 2 times 1. Simplifying, we have negative 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, so that's plus 4. So 1 plus 4 is just positive 5 over 2. So this now gives us our two root solutions, r equals minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 all over 2, in which r1 equals the, let's say, the lesser, so negative 1 minus rad 5 all over 2, and r2 equals the greater, or negative one plus rad five over two. Now we have a case in which r1 doesn't equal r2, obviously, and that format would be y homogeneous equals c1e to the r1t plus c2e to the r2t. We include constant c to allow for a degree of freedom such that there are infinite solutions. So we have r1 and r2, it just looks misleadingly large, but there's no issue going on here. It's just going to be some random decimal. So our answer, y homogeneous equals c1 e to the r1 negative 1 minus rad 5 over 2 times t plus c2 e to the negative 1 plus rad 5 over 2 t. And that's all. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.